All right, so um, I thought I'd do a screen recording of this. I'm trying to center this up in uh, the process. So obviously this circle is this. This is just like some haze I was trying to make, uh, kind of like awake, you know? Uh, so I'll, I'll probably put another line in there, but uh, for right now, I'm going to, let me see if I can get this right here. Yeah, you know, it'll be something like that, but there'll be like another line. Um, so in order to lower this, I need to uh, figure out what <laughs> I got kind of lost with the layers here. Um, there we go. So the sun is basically masked, so I need to grab all this stuff at once. Um, so the foreground rock is this thing. So I think... If I just move this down, that feels good. That feels about right, right? And then now I can bring, and this is basically, this is a picture I took in uh, Chile. I think I was in Atacama. Oh yeah, this is Atacama Desert. Um, unfortunately, the rock is kind of blurry. Uh, I guess I could use some sort of sharpening stuff, but I don't. Uh, didn't do it. I'll, I'll probably do it um, before I publish. Anyway, so that's that rock, and it's basically just a scaled up version of um, of what it's sitting on. So there it is. You know, this I just cut it out so that it could uh, live over the horizon if I needed it to, because I was fading in this haze. And then you can see this is like um, this is a picture of, and what I'm clicking into here are, are smart objects. Uh, they're basically just placed documents. But this is um, the Salt Lake, which kind of reminds me of Burning Man because you can see on the horizon like these these cars, you know, driving on the highway, just kind of like you can see cars driving into Burning Man. But it's pretty cool because this is like, you know, a, re a reflection um, in into the to the lake. Uh, so I just put that there, so it kind of was uh, part of that. And then this image is well, this image is this is this in Hawaii at some point uh, a couple, few years ago on Sunset Beach. Um, that's just like the sky. There was actually a surfer down here, um, but I cut that out. And then what else? Oh yeah, this is, man. Oh, this is Kelso Dunes, which is in Mojave Desert. Um, I just thought this was a cool, like there's, there's mountains that look a lot like this at Burning Man. So, uh, just thought I'd use those. The thing is, is I've stopped really doing photography at Burning Man just because, like, I feel like if, uh, you know, like, you have to think about it the whole time. And, um, or, you know, like, I'm just like, oh, I got to get a picture of that. I got to get, you know, and I'm not being present. And I feel like that's a big problem with, with me in photography in general is, you know, I, I want to basically, if I'm going on a trip to enjoy it and be present and, and like, appreciate the people I'm with or appreciate just, like, the, the place I'm in. I, I kind of don't take cameras anymore. I'll take my phone. And obviously if you want to, you know, take a quick shot, it's like, whatever, fine. But, um, which, you know what, actually come to think of it, I think this is an iPhone photo because I, I don't think I brought, oh no, I, that's right. I did bring a real camera here, but you know, if you bring a camera for me, at least I'm always like, oh, I got to get the shot. And like, you're thinking about shooting and you're not thinking about, or you're not just like enjoying being there. Um, so I don't have many pictures of Burning Man over the last, uh, five years because uh, I didn't bring cameras. Um, so uh, yeah, so basically, uh, as per Bram's suggestion, this is all kind of a, this is visions and Bram were kind of like made me rethink um, how this would all fit together. So this is going to take a minute. But if I take this, and I take this, the problem is there's a lot of adjustment layers that are interacting with these. So I have to make sure that those move as well. Um, like this. Oh, that's not doing much anymore. I faded that down so much. That needs to move. Well, actually, I'll just leave that. Who cares? Um, so I think that's it. I think, yeah, yeah, there we go. So if I do that and we try to figure out, here's the center line. So, I mean, we're going to have to move that sun pretty low. So my only problem with that is that, see, now to me, this feels like lopsided almost or like top heavy. I always like my skies to be a little smaller in the foreground, I guess, is, is the only thing. Um, 
And then it's also interfering with the gradient off the um, sand, which is fine. We can we can uh, bring that down as well. But yeah, so like, see now the, so you have to choose, like, what do you want to be centered? Do you want the horizon line to be centered? Which right now it kind of is, you know, it's a little, it's a little low, but that feels a little high anyways. So I kind of erred on the side of the horizon line being the thing that, that crosses, you know, that's closer to the center. And now that we have the sun, you have to say like, okay, do you want that? And if you, if you split the difference, I think it works pretty good, but then it's like the sun still isn't centered. Maybe if you do that, then it's like, that's pretty darn close. I mean, that would be dead center. And it's like, I don't think anyone's going to really notice. Uh, so yeah, those are, those are kind of options. Uh, I think I dig it. I think I like it. I think I just have to bring, so now, oh, this is like an adjustment layer to, to kind of, uh, bring down the dynamic range a little bit in the sand. I think that's probably a little heavy. Bring that down a little bit so you get some more contrast. It's basically just take a uh, a blue. I use I'll, I'll use a layer like this, like a blue um, shape layer, and then turn it to lighten mode or or whatever mode you like. And like if you can see, I'll, I'll flip through the modes. I'll, I'll turn it all the way up. That's lighten. These are all the modes. You can just see it interacts with the with the shadows in a cool way. Um, that's really cool. Uh, so yeah, like forty percent at lighten is typically the way that I, I get that. You can do it with curves too. Um, like you could, you could bring up the blues, the low end of the blues, but, um, yeah. So the thing that has to happen now is the horizon, this, this gradient that's con controlling the horizon line needs to come down. I don't know. There we go. That needs to come down a little bit. So we're back to having that kind of blue cast. You know, you want that, you want that blue cast because that's kind of what, you know, if, if it's just pure color all the way back, it, it doesn't really look realistic. Um, so this is the way you can get stuff to look like it's fading into the distance or whatever. Um, so yeah, uh, I think I'll save a different version of this. Um, oops, already on a different version. Um, so yeah, that's feeling pretty good. Let me, uh, I'll save a comp and, and push it to the, uh, put it up to the discord to see what you guys think.